Why if you don't like people who talk with their mouth full? I don't care. Everybody eats. I mean, you can't see my food. And I'm not like spitting it everywhere. So, I think it's fine. And if, if it offends you, click away. Or look away, <laughs> whatever. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you barefaced and shy tea um, because I just showered and washed my face and everything like that. Um, and I ran a quick errand. I don't really have much to say to you guys today. Um, I don't even know what this video is really going to be about. Um, I just wanted to check in because I miss you guys and um, it's a weekday so this is really the only time. This is going to be the only time in a while that I have available to make a video and the only reason why I am available today is because I didn't go to work today because I'm not feeling the best um, and I just woke up with a lot of like pressure and I think I have like a sinus headache or whatever and I just feel like worn out and just tired and just exhausted and I can't explain it. I really, really hope that I'm not getting ready to come down with the flu because there was somebody in my office that came down with the flu right around Thanksgiving and Christmas is next week and I don't want to get sick. I always get sick around the holidays and I'm so upset about it. But anyway, um, I just came back from my neighborhood CVS and I just have the most random accumulation of items here. And I just wanted to share with someone what I got. Whenever I'm sick, I always run to CVS. Um, typically because when I used to get sick as a kid, I would always go to CVS to pick up my um, prescriptions. Um, so there's something familiar and welcoming and comfortable about CVS. Um, so I, first and foremost, got some sinus pain and congestion medicine and I'm gonna be popping these in with some day I already had a day cloak but I need to go get some um, sinus meds and I always get like Sprite or 7-Up or something like that some clear soda or whatever um, when I'm not feeling well don't know what that's about but I do I would have gotten Sprite um, but the 7-Up was cheaper so whatever um, I also got some bad things, <laughs> junk that I've already opened. I got some flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't know. I saw them and I wanted them. And I was like, hey, I'm sick. I get what I want. So um, I also got the candy. <laughs> so um, Ghirardelli um, milk, chocolate and caramel bar. I got um, some Raisinets. I don't know why. I also got some of my absolute all-time favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor ice cream. Um, my absolute favorite is the milk and cookies. I can never find it anywhere, really. Like, it's a rarity. I usually have to go to Walmart to find it, but it was in ZVS. Milk and cookies is my absolute favorite flavor of Ben & Jerry's. I don't have it here in front of me because it's in the freezer. I probably will eat it tonight. I know I'm not supposed to have milk um, or dairy products when I'm not when I'm sick because it makes it, it makes you more mucusy. I don't care. I want it and I'm having it. I also got a charger for my phone. Random. <laughs> um, I needed to shave my legs and arms, and I tried to this morning in the shower with Nair. It didn't work. I feel like their formula is a lot weaker than it used to be. It's trash. It didn't work at all. So I picked up some razors. I'm gonna go the old-fashioned way and some um, shaving cream. So hopefully I get better results. If I don't, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, and last but not least, I got some Impress Press On Nails. Can you see that? Yeah. This looks really pretty. Can you see? How well can you see that? They're like a pink color and yeah, that, that looks gorgeous. So I'm going to do my nails today as kind of like a treat me thing. You know, I used to, my mom used to take me to get my nails done when I wasn't feeling well from time to time just to kind of lift my spirits and get me out and moving around and stuff like that. But I didn't feel like going to go sit to get my nails done. So I'm going to do the cheap way at home and get my nails done. So that's all the stuff that I have. 
Um, and I'm gonna eat some leftover um, Zaxby's because I got Zaxby's for myself yesterday. I ate all of my wings. I usually crave wings when I'm sick, um, but I ate all of my wings. So all I have left are the chicken fingers and some Frenchie fries because I usually get a oh, wings and things meal. Um, but after this, oh my God, my head. After this, after I eat, um, I'm going to take some medicine and probably go to bed. Probably go to bed. Um, I do not know why I'm so exhausted. I really, really, really hope that it's not anything serious like the flu about to start. I really hope that it's just congestion and sinus pressure. But my throat, the more I talk, the more sore my throat is getting. I can't really like breathe it's like pressure on my chest and i'm just like Ugh. i'm gonna be so mad i feel really, like really sick mm. but i intend on getting back into bed and watching christmas movies that's fun what's you guys' favorite christmas movie um comment down below i love to watch christmas movies and i love to listen to christmas music I start as early as September sometimes with my Christmas music. I don't know what it is. It's just something about it. It gets you feeling happy and light and childlike and like nostalgic and stuff like that. So, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, I feel like everybody's going to say The Grinch, A Nightmare Before Christmas, A Christmas Story. Yeah, but I feel like that's typical. I like to, I used to watch, um, I don't know if they have it anymore. Um, it's called Freeform now. It used to be called ABC Family. They used to do this 25 Days of Christmas specials. They used to have them every year it was kind of like a tradition in my household it's just so gross i'm sorry but i wanted them um what are you saying it was a tradition in my household to watch 25 days of christmas and they have this movie about jack frost that i love um they have this movie called A Year Without Santa Claus, which is awesome. If you haven't seen that movie, watch it. Um, the Miser Brothers really stole the show for me, but they did a Miser Brothers Christmas or something like that, a movie based on them that's kind of like a spinoff, I guess, that didn't really do too well. I still haven't seen it, but I've heard bad things, so I'm not gonna watch it. I would like to remember them as they were. Um, and the Grinch. Definitely a classic in my household. We went to go see it in theaters. I'm referring to Jim Carrey's version. I love Jim Carrey. He's one of my favorite comedians and one of my favorite actors, comedic actors. Um, so he's one of my favorite people. He's great. I love him. I actually like that version better than any other version ever. Even the one that came out this year. I love Benedict Cumberbatch. But I didn't go see it. I didn't go see it because the previews that I saw, I was like, why? I understand, you know, marketing off of a classic, what you can assume is going to be well, or go well because it's done well in the past. And I'm like, it's been done before. Much better as well. It's been done better <laughs> before, so. Unless you're going to be able to outdo what's already been done, I don't think you should mess with it. This was not meant to be a mukbang, mukbang, I don't know how, <clears throat> how you pronounce it. I've been meaning to do another one on my channel, but the angles, like, I don't know how to get me in the shot and my food in the shot and... Yeah, 
I'm not showing my food right now because it's not like really appetizing. It's all like mushed up. I'm one of those people that likes to like mix my food, um, which I think is so funny because my little sister hates for her food to touch. So whenever I would make her plate, I would have to like make sure that everything had its own little section, but I mix up my food. So it looks a little gross, which is why the first time, the first and only mukbang that I did on my channel was um, ramen noodles because it does not look gross. <laughs> like the way that I eat my ramen noodles isn't gross and I didn't feel like I would be judged by people by the way I ate my food. So um, I'm not gonna show you my food now because it looks nasty. And this wasn't meant to be a mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm just hungry and I just wanted to talk to you guys. I don't know how much of this footage is salvageable. Um, but I guess I'll leave that to post editing Brianna to chop it up and make it make sense. I always somehow figure out how to do that. <laughs> Even though while I'm filming, it feels like I'm rambling and just all over the place. But then when I like edit it and chop it up and watch the final project, I'm like, okay, this is like a cohesive video. This actually makes sense. Kudos. Shout out to you. Excuse me. Editing Brianna. For making sense out of all the shenanigans. So. Mm. Question of the day. Or questions of the day, because I already asked a question. Favorite Christmas movie. And what do you like to get, or what do you crave when you're sick? Food wise. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I have been staring at myself the entire time. I am so sorry, um, instead of looking into the camera. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to answer all three questions of the day in the comments down below. And um, I probably won't see you guys until after the new year. So happy holidays. Excuse me, excuse me. Happy holidays, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Stay tuned. I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> Stay tuned for what? We don't know. You're not consistent no more with your videos. Why am I doing this with my hands? Anyway, bye guys. Goodbye. <laughs> I decided whether I want to be like Trisha Paytas and edit out all my burps. You know, she does that. She told us once. And she edits out all her burps. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm drinking carbonation. Carbonated soda. Burping is natural. So, sorry.